And we turn to the weather watch now. Chilly evening as we take a live look outside. Beautiful night. Yes. But cold. It is. And Mary Kay, there is a frost threat looming for some of our viewers. Right. Northwest Indiana. Big focus for that. Also into Kankakee County. So a frost advisory in effect from 1 a.m. until 8 a.m. I think even some of our west and northwest suburbs could see areas of frost tonight. But especially for the area that has the advisory, you want to cover those sensitive outdoor plants. And that's through sunrise tomorrow morning. Temperatures tonight may touch the freezing mark there in Rensselaer and Kankakee or get very close to that. Otherwise, mid 30s tonight for Lowe's and DeKalb and Ottawa and Morris. Aurora tonight about 34, but downtown we will probably hold in the lower 40s. Right now it's clear. Winds dying down, so it's a calm wind. 45 degrees is our current temperature, and downtown is 47, but we're in the 30s already in Gary and Valparaiso. It's 40 in Joaquin and DeKalb and 43 degrees in McHenry. Future cast showing that we're mainly clear through the night, starting out with partly sunny skies and temperatures moved to the lower 40s and then in the afternoon some spots touching that 60 degree mark and we will have a lot of sunshine. If you're headed out Friday night, we look good. Saturday morning some clouds start gathering ahead of our first weather maker. There's two that I'm watching that will affect your weekend and it looks like Saturday after in the afternoon hours we're going to see the first front step into the picture. So showers move in for Saturday afternoon. Temperatures rise low and mid 60s for us for daytime highs, but not a lot of moisture tacked onto this front. So just scattered showers ahead of it. It pushes through Saturday night. Sunday, we are between the two systems. So I do think that we will be dry and quiet during the day on Sunday for the Bears game. It looks quite nice. Then we're going to watch this next system move in. Now this one's more impressive rain. Some thunderstorms are possible and this has a deep tropical connection to the Gulf of Mexico and also to our tropical disturbance that Hurricane hunters have been watching here in the southwestern Gulf of Mexico. Winds are at 40 miles per hour. It's not greatly organized at the moment, but there are some signs that tomorrow during the day it could become a tropical storm named Nestor and possibly continue on that northeast track into the Florida Panhandle somewhere between Pensacola and Panama City as we get into Saturday morning, pushing through the Carolinas as we get into the second half of the weekend. Heaviest rain by far will be right along the Gulf Coast from Biloxi to Mobile to Pensacola. Pensacola, and then all of that rain starts riding up through Charleston and Savannah and for the Atlantic seaboard. So it's our second system that's going to bring us a better chance for heavier rain. First chance Sunday night, better chance Monday as all of that moves through along that front. So we have two systems on the way as temperatures warm to the mid 60s. But right now the Bears looking between the two, so it should be a dry game. Yeah, and enjoying that Sunday. Thank you, Mary Kay.